Master, tell us a little bit about yourself. We had the opportunity to talk last night. Um, tell us a bit about yourself. Um, I'm from Wisconsin. Uh, we've been playing PUBG for literally ever since early access. Uh, we started our team. Uh, I'm part of Space Station Gaming. Got it. Um, Where do you, what's your background? What's your gaming background? My, oh, my gaming background. So I played uh, a lot of competitive COD um, and then also CSGO. Um, played with a bunch of top players. Uh, play, been playing professionally for... Almost all my life. So yeah. one of the, I think only, as far as I know, out of the top 10 players, you are number three currently. Three currently. We know how the leaderboard yeah. can be kind of pressure yeah. if you're not playing from a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah. Um, but uh, you and your team comprise, out of the top 10, there are three of you here today. Hard so to really a huge amount of skill. And from an NA standpoint, you were at the top of the top. So uh, as you've transitioned to competitive PUBG, what have been kind of the challenges? What are you looking to accomplish in the scene? Um. We obviously want to be one of the best teams. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Um, to you, as far as information gathering in the first person meta, how do you gather information? Is it more audio, more visual? Do you spend a lot of time jumping around, looking around, trying to gather that risk from a risky standpoint? Or are you just kind of like waiting to see who comes to you type of thing? No, no, you, you definitely want to gather as much information visually and um, audio. Right. Um, being able to see and Watching all the cars move around is, right. is insanely important. Who's in them, where they're going, right. that kind of stuff. You got to make sure you know every. Can you we know, kill them right now? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Well, <laughs> can you tell? Can you tell? Since it was uh, between you and uh, two of your teammates toward, there towards the end, can you kind of tell a skill level when you kind of come across a player? Can you kind of gauge where they are, where they're at in the skill, kind of beginner to advanced to you know expert in your case? Can you kind of see by their movement, by the way they behave, how oh, they Oh, yeah, are? definitely. So it, it all comes down to, like, how they move between even tree to tree. Even. Right. Mm. So, and, then, and then after that, the second you see them peak. Right. If they're, if they're like, kind of right. shuffle out and look at right. you versus, like, leaning and just see that yeah, little kind of... Exactly. Yeah, exactly. You now, get that, those jiggle peaks. Uh, how often are there situations where you see a fight, you see a team, and the best option is to just leave it? Is that more often than not? Yeah, so it heavily depends on the circle. Right. So if you're in the circle, you're in, you know you're in a fairly safe spot, take the fight all you want. Right. It's, it's worth it. You see this a lot in competitive where you have this, this opportunity to potentially take a fight, but you don't have, the, you don't have that, the rest of that full information. You can see that this team's coming in here, maybe they're late to the circle or they're trying to get a dominant position, and you start that fight. How do you manage... Uh, avoiding tunnel vision on certain fights and kind of keeping that 360 degree information feed going. So at least for our squad, I I actually watch the back. I, I am. So the that's support. your designated I, role. Okay. I am the support. Okay, player. cool. You have designated like specific role, like in CS:GO, you have fragger entry, that kind of stuff. Do you have that within your team now? Yes, yes, we do. Yeah. So I am full support. Okay. For the most part, I also in game lane for my team, and then uh, everyone else on my team is just a fragger. They, yeah. Do you have like any like? As far as like rushing houses, which I know in highly competitive is generally something most people don't do, but is any one of you that just like likes the close quarters combat? I like actually, I actually love it. Yeah, yeah. So I love it. Are yeah. you the entry yeah. fragger generally it's, whenever it's, you're rushing a house? Only for houses. Only yeah. for houses. When it goes well, it's amazing. Uh, have you have you managed uh, any uh, successful flashbang entries yet? We. It's tough, we, right? We may. Not, you don't know if they're blind because yeah, they can't really yeah, tell. Yeah, flashbangs yeah. are iffy. Yeah. Right. They, it's, and they're also really inconsistent right now. Very inconsistent. I've, yeah. yeah, I've had too many flashes where that th sit right next to me and right. they don't flash me. Yeah. The one thing, uh, for those of you who might not know, in games like CSGO, they have like a visual indicator as to when they're blind. They'll have their hands up over their head type of like, I'm blind, help me. <laughs> but in PUBG, uh, if the flashbang, you can kind of tell when they're blind because they're either backed into a corner or like the door's half open and they're like walking into it. But there's no, <laughs> right. there's no obvious visual yeah. indicator. Uh, but the audio aspect is there as well. So I, I imagine primarily frag grenades, kind of looking for those down team or 
the downed opponents and then kind of rushing in when there's an opportunity. Yep, frag grenades are definitely the way to go right now. Right. Uh, just just due, simply due to how much they buffed them recently and the, yeah. the, their awesome consistency. So who's your in-game? Do you have an in-game leader designated calling stuff, or is it kind of all you at once? Um, I actually do, again, I, I do most of the in-game lead, um, but when um, H. Win uh, does, he, he's like a secondary caller, and then everyone else just either agrees or disagrees with the play. Cool. And I have one out. ask for you for this next game, uh, and it's not anything to do with the game, but can you just refer to him as Win? Is that possible for you? Does he hate Quinn. that? Quinn. <laughs> Does he hate Quinn? <laughs> I don't Can you just change his name for him for us? Because I think we just decided at the desk. Yeah. That's what we're going to do now. Yeah. yeah, we're just going to call him. Win. The longer win. the H, the better. Like, <sighs> win. win. <laughs> yeah. Even if your comms get all ruined, doesn't matter. Like, hey, <laughs> win. <laughs> Watch out. Someone's right behind you. <laughs> <laughs> win. <laughs> It'd be perfect. Perfect. Well, thanks for taking the time right. to answer questions. Are you going to be playing the next couple of games as well? I, I believe so. Can't oh. imagine why so not. So one other thing we were kicking around the desk, if we could get all of you at one separate table to see if we can get one guy to drag a team to victory, is that something you can consider? <laughs> I think we should. Yeah. Oh, man. I, you guys should do it. We should this, do it. We, uh, you know what? This is my personal challenge to you. If you can take all the youngest people in the room and make them your teammates and drag them to victory, I will I will buy you a beverage this evening, sir. <laughs> Sounds good. Perhaps <laughs> multiple beverages. Sounds yeah. good. So much co <laughs> like Coca-Cola, whatever we can get. Yeah, whatever right. you can get. <laughs> all right. Sounds good. Fantastic. All right. Thanks, sir. Appreciate I, it, man. I appreciate it. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. All right.